What's going on people, I am B Dobbins for the win. And every Halo game in the past, excluding Halo 4, has retained a significant amount of its population after its successor came out. Halo 3 and Reach especially so. And when you look at how different Halo multiplayer has gradually become with Halo 5, you can begin to understand why many Halo veterans, including myself, would simply prefer to remain on the MCC as a viable and playable option for at least another year, but preferably a few more. I know for many of you it might be hard to understand why some of us care so much about the MCC, but you have to understand that for many of us, particularly those of us who have been out of high school for some time now, these games were a big part of our childhood. A human being is defined by their collection of experiences. For many of us, those original three halos are a big part of that fucking collection. A big part of who we are. And we want to hold on to that part of our childhood to relive it for as long as we can. You know, there are grown men out there, they played baseball when they were kids, right? They get to relive that shit whenever they want. And more power to them. There are 40 year olds out there, they can do a pickup game with their 40 year old friends and all their kids can play too. I played football. Now, I can do, you know, a pickup two hand touch or flag football thing with my friends, but that's not what football is to me. I was a defensive end. For me, football is lowering your shoulder and hitting someone as hard as you fucking can. And I'll never get to relive that, and I'm bitter about it because I wish I'd cherished it more when I was still allowed to do it. Because at the time, I didn't even think about it. I didn't savor it. I didn't value it. But after it was over, I missed it deeply because there's something incredibly special and unique about being allowed to embrace the fucking animal that's inside all of us. And now it's over. I never get to be that version of myself ever again. I never get to explore that side of who I am ever again. That person that was on the football field is dead. It's gone. And it's not just original Halos, but it's about Split Screen too. Because Split Screen was a central pillar of the Halo experience for me in my youth until this day. The most formative years of my childhood were spent on Halo, playing Split Screen Halo with my cousin Mark who was like a big brother to me. There were three great summers where we played Halo Split Screen and RuneScape and Mech Assault all day, every day. And I basically just live at his house during the summer. And we'd bike around in the blistering heat to get ice cream and then come back and fucking play Halo. And it was the first time in my life I was really my own independent person because we just did whatever we wanted, when we wanted. You know, his parents were out of the house a lot. They gave very few fucks to begin with. And it's just great memories. It's nostalgic thinking back to it. It's bittersweet remembering how much fun it was, but knowing that that time is over. The next summer, he had to move to Colorado, and we've basically only been pen pals since then. He's in the army now, and he will be for at least another two years, and when the MCC was first announced, I thought, how fucking sick is that? That eventually he'll get out, we'll be able to recapture, if only briefly, the joy of those cherished times of our childhood. But of course, now you have to wonder if that'll even be possible two years down the road. Had the MCC launched in working order, hell, even if they had managed to fix it before Christmas, I'm confident this game's playlist populations could have withstood the test of time and the release of Halo 5 and all these other major games about to drop. But as it stands, the MCC's future is bleak. At some point, just like with any game, you can only play certain playlists and only at certain times of the day. At a certain point, every game reaches its expiration date. It's inevitable. This has always been personal, I guess. It's always been about me trying to forcibly change things to fit my own desires. In some ways, that's what this whole channel is. When I go after COD for lagging, it's because I got killed around the corner one too many fucking times, and I swore that in this life or the next, I would have my revenge. And God damn it, so long as there's breath in my body, I will. But I know that when it comes to Halo, there are other players out there just like me. I see them around the internet and in my own comment sections. I know we're in the minority. I know everyone wants to put the tragedy of the MCC behind us and move on and hope for a better tomorrow. But I'm not ready to let go yet. And even outside of nostalgia, I think it's especially important to save the MCC now that it's probably the last great split screen game left. With this latest announcement from Halo 5, I can't help but think that the split screen is pretty much dead. Because no other game is really doing it now either, and the only two online multiplayer games allowing for it still are the MCC and Call of Duty. But the thing about Call of Duty is it's a terrible split screen game. There's very little room for any kind of actual teamwork or camaraderie in that game. There's no room for creative two-person sandbox tactics to take place. If you're playing split screen on that game, you'll both just be dead silent the whole match unless one of you is raging or something. Halo is a great split screen game because it offers so many interesting ways for two people to interact with all the vehicles and giving your friend a ride to the enemy flag and then dying and respawning and trying to pick him up from the enemy base before he gets caught and sneaking bombs into bases on longshore and one guy's hitting the control panel to open up that 
top walkway and, and the bomb guy sneaks in or just telling the guy to get the sword on your ex or simply just team shouting enemies or hey I'll lure this guy forward you crouch right there with your sword and hey I'm gonna drive this motherfucking warthog you make sure to get that Spartan laser so I don't get lasered and then you laser the bad guy warthog and then I become death destroyer of worlds not to mention all the crazy shit that can happen in the campaign the MCC is one of those last games that friends can play together when they go over to each other's houses it's the last great AAA game that doesn't demand real world isolation it's the last great social gaming experience left on the new gen. And because of that, it's extra important that it's spared an untimely and unwarranted expiration. For otherwise, we are faced with a generation of gaming doomed to absolute isolation. I know not everyone cares about split screen, but motherfucker I do. Cause now I got new memories and a new summer of split screen, but this time it's with my girlfriend. It's been so fun and so many good memories this summer and in high school on Reach. But is that it for split screen? I mean, after the MCC does inevitably expire, is that it? Is this time of my life and split screen and the joy I've had with her on these games, has this all just been sand slipping through my fucking fingers? But of course it doesn't have to be, does it? The answer is obvious. I'm supposed to save up for a second Xbox, right? That's what the fuck they want. But what about the people who can't save up? Couples and brothers and parents and their kids. Human relationships that can be filled with so much more joy, experience and bonding in the few hours of free time we have left in our typical days between school and work and the responsibilities that rob us of our time together even after we get home from work and school. Like homework, which is the biggest fucking scam in human history. And gaming can give those human relationships so much more than what they get plopping on the couch at the end of the day and watching a fucking TV show. You know, you watch TV every day with a person for 10 years and one day you realize you barely even know each other. And these are important relationships between people in the same house, family, some of the closest relationships you'll ever have. TV is something you do at the same time. Games are something you do together. Games are a force of good in this world and nobody realizes it yet, but they will. And with the slow death of split screen, we lose something special, and it's tragic that not enough people recognize that. The fates of split screen and the Master Chief Collection are now deeply intertwined. And the question is, how much of the game remains accessible, and how often? Is it only Team Slayer and Big Team Battle, and only at certain times of the day? Presently, Australians cannot play multiplayer. I mean, literally, the vast majority of Australians cannot play multiplayer at all. Which means that Australians, on this new generation of console, they don't have many options left for split screen either, do they? It's a grim reality, and the concern is, when does this hit the rest of us? As it stands, the MCC never truly recovered from the terrible launch that wiped out the bulk of its original population. It has maintained a spot in the Xbox Top 10 most played, but it was never able to break spot number 8, and it's been going back and forth with Battlefield 4 continuously, which is troubling because, as I've talked about plenty in the past, Battlefield 4 has been out for two years and has already seen its sequel come out. So where, uh, so if that's where it stands presently, what happens once everyone is back in school and that's already started? I know summer is over for a lot of you. I think most colleges have a few weeks left, but then the real concern has always been what happens after they launch Halo 5. Now again, a silver lining to Halo 5 for going split screen is that it gives the MCC a newfound relevance, and I really think that by itself can do a lot to retain enough of this game's population, and thus its overall accessibility. I think that will certainly do more than any of my commentaries or hour-long complaints could have ever hoped to do. If the MCC can survive Halo 5 in the same way that Black Ops 2 survived Ghosts, in the same way that Battlefield 4 survived Hardline, then the MCC could possibly receive further support just like those games did after their successors came out. And the MCC still needs that support desperately. To this day, there's still a huge list of problems plaguing the game that need to be addressed. And if the MCC were to retain a sizable enough population, I think it would be that much more encouragement for 343 to figure out how the fuck to put split screen back in Halo 6. This is bigger than the MCC now. This is about split screen. This is about the sanctity of gaming. And look, I understand how hard it is to release a game and how much time and resources it takes in the final year or so of production, especially when you're trying to avoid a botched launch like the MCC. But once Halo 5 is out, surely that will free up a little bit more of their development staff to continue giving the MCC some of the love that it deserves. So I guess the question is, what more can the community do, or at least those of us in the community who do cherish the MCC for various reasons, to help support the MCC post Halo 5? Now look, I always knew that Save MCC First was kind of a long shot. I was a small channel with a big fucking mouth. 
I was hoping that if I made that one video badass enough, I could force it to go viral. But the truth is, that video was not well done. I tried to do too much at once, and it was like trying to swallow a Chipotle burrito hole, and I just choked. But ultimately, I think my bigger mistake was presenting the argument in a way that was so anti-Halo 5. I think I let my frustration with the launch get the best of me. I should have gone about it in a more calm and inclusive way. But immediately, I just turned it into a pissing contest between two generations of Halo players. I've learned a lot this year about a great many things, and a lot of that revolves around trying to shape public opinion in regards to Halo. In the future, I'd like to strike a less combative tone. Battlefield 4 and Black Ops 2 getting updates and new content after their successors had released didn't require the successors dying. It didn't even mean a majority of the fanbase stayed on them, it just meant that a sizable enough portion stayed back to warrant being catered to, right? So I'd like to talk about what it might take for the MCC to receive that same kind of accommodation and what future accommodations should look like. One thing that I think would help the MCC a lot is making sure that everybody who has it is aware of the new Action Sack playlist because it is a sick fucking playlist that they need to make permanent and expand on a little bit more actually. I think they should have the Action Sack and then have all your Slayer variants in there and then have like a Wacky Sack playlist where they can put all the, you know, dodgeball, paintball, sumo type stuff because that's actually the stuff I prefer but it seems like other people's don't and, and include some infection and grift ball in the motherfucker too and maybe it's time for a Husky Raid 24-7 playlist. I mean, I've never been a huge fan of Halo 4 but I love me some motherfucking Husky Raid. When kids have friends coming over for the weekend, they're not going to be playing Halo 5, they're going to be playing MCC Action Sack, and they're going to have a good fucking time. For my older viewers, I'd remind you that you can turn that shit into a cool drinking game. Alright, and here's how it works. Everybody takes a shot anytime anybody in your squad gets stuck by something, sticks someone else, falls off the map, or gets a multi-kill, and then every time you win a match, you take one shot, every time you lose a match, you take two shots, 90 minutes in, you'll be having a pretty good time, especially because it's the type of playlist that makes for a lot of laughs. And what the fuck moments. And it's also a great playlist for beginners as well. I think one of the big problems with the MCC is that those first three Halo games have pretty significant skill gaps compared to today's games, and they all have their own nuances you have to learn. And that can be intimidating for newer players, especially when you have old school pros who mastered the game 10 years ago, fucking kids up left and right. But in the action sack, you know, you give everybody a wacky gun, everybody's spawning with rocket launchers and Fiesta, or like SWAT guns, everybody has a shotgun and no shield, so you don't have to worry about power weapons and map controls. You, you just go around, you know, either one-shotting or getting one-shotted. It, it even things out a little bit. It reduces the skill gap, lowers the TTK in a lot of game modes uh, in a way that I think can give everyone a chance to have fun and sort of get introduced to some of these old games. And then some of those skills they pick up in that wackier friendly environment can carry over to the more serious playlists. And it's the only playlist where the whole cross game playlist thing is an actual advantage as opposed to sort of an obstacle because even if you're not a huge fan of Halo 2 Classic, you can still have a lot of fun playing Team Swords or for instance, I'm not a huge fan of Halo 4 but I love Husky Raid. It takes the best moments and the best parts of the sandbox from each game and gives those moments their own playlists and game modes, which is awesome. So if you haven't played MCC in a while, I encourage you to try out Action Sec. Or if you know someone who has the game but hasn't played in a while, you should encourage them to try out Action Sec because I guarantee you it'll keep some people on the game. Another cool idea I had was if any of you have YouTube channels and you're interested in some growth, I thought I could put on a little friendly competition. If you make an MCC video at any time before the launch of Halo 5, you should send it to me. And then the best MCC video that gets sent in, I'll shout it out at the end of my first Halo 5 video, and I'll link it in the outro screen, where I usually have those two video, you know, at the end of every video I link to two other videos, right? So I'll put yours and I'll link it in the description as well, so that'd be cool. Ultimately, if the MCC does retain enough population to earn further support from 343, that support needs to start with custom games and community-based mechanics in general. If they give the community the proper tools to support the MCC survival on their own, 343 can fuck off altogether just like they wanted to anyways. The biggest problems with the MCC customs right now are 1. You can't join a match in progress. 2. It still has significant issues with party stability, especially when you try to fit the 16 player max in the lobby, and keeping in mind that custom games almost always benefit in terms of enjoyment from higher player accounts. And 3. And this is the big one, the file share sucks. So for a while there the game didn't have file share period, and then finally they put one in but all it lets you do is search someone's Gamer tag. This means you can't really browse or explore new fun files, whether it's a cool new map or game mode or what have you, unless you know the person who made it, which means basically you only get to see shit your friends have made, unless you take the time to go online and find someone sharing their gamer tag and saying they have cool shit to search their gamer tag, right? It's very restricted and frankly kind of suspicious. The thing about custom games is that it's similar to modding almost in the sense, you know, players get to create new experiences. When you look at the action sack playlist, games like dodgeball or paintball, those are new game modes on new maps and the idea behind custom games from its conception is that it lets the community design almost an infinite amount of that kind of stuff and what is especially great about that type of mechanic in a collection like this is that you have so much more content to work with. You know, you got four games worth of shit that can be rearranged and molded into new and 
exciting shit. And the diversity of the action set playlist is a testament to that. Like I saw an awesome game mode where somebody took the Husky Raid idea from Halo 4 and put it in Halo 3, except it was on narrows on the side of the map, right? Where the two grab lists are shooting you across and that was the only part of the map that was accessible. That shit was hilarious. Uh, and stuff like that would exponentially increase people's playtimes and enjoyment, assuming it was readily and casually accessible, but presently it's not. Uh, and part of me thinks maybe that's because they don't want you exponentially increasing people's playtimes on this game because, you know, Halo 5 is coming out not even a year after the MCC, it's coming out 10 months later. Maybe that's why they never wanted to do DLC for this game either. Planned obsolescence. If you're having too much fun on MCC with all its content from custom games, you're much less likely to buy Halo 5. But that's speculative. But maybe after Halo 5 is already launched, they can fix the file share in MCC because then everybody already got Halo 5 or what have you. They also need to include a post-game party up option to increase the chances for people to make friends. Now it would be super duper if they could revamp the MCC a year after Halo 5 like what you see with the Taken King and Destiny. Include Halo 5, Halo C Anniversary and Reach for 40 bucks to people who already own the collection and then they can resell the shit for $60 to people who don't own the collection and it'll help sell Xboxes and then they can include the new revamped MCC with all future Xboxes for free and it's the Master Chief collection that's supposed to have all the Master Chief shit which includes Halo 5 and eventually Halo 6. But now I'm just rambling. So the for the win query of the day is what's something you think might encourage you or other players you know to continue playing the MCC every now and then, even after Halo 5 has dropped. Please remember to rate the video. This is Batman, signing out.